Here's a little quiz for you. Name some red dots that are made in a good old US of A. I'll give you a hint. It's a really small list. And like the others, this one's also a beast. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you find this video useful, please like and subscribe. Today we're talking about the newest entry into the combat red dots market, the Sig Sauer Romeo 8T. So we looked at some other Romeos earlier this year and found them all reliable, packed with features, and very aggressively priced. Now with this release, SIG has taken another step up in reliability, so you can really consider this their first duty use optic. So let's take a look at some reasons why. Let's go. First, let's talk about reticle brightness. The site offers eight daytime brightness levels, and in my opinion, the brightest setting is more than enough for high noon lighting. And when you're cycling through the brightness levels, you also notice that the steps between them are a little coarse, so you're left with choosing the brighter setting between the two. And since the reticle runs for 50,000 hours on a single CR123 and also has a motion activated sensor, you really don't have to worry about conserving battery life anyways. While we're looking at the reticle, I want to note its design since it's one of the distinguishing features. You got four reticles to choose from. The single dot, the dot with holds, the circle dot, and the circle dot with holds. Personally, I like the circle dot with holds since you get both speed and accuracy at range with only one reticle. The circle dot shares the same 65 MOA outer ring as an EOTech, but with a slightly larger 2 MOA center dot. For reticles with holes, you want to pair it with something like the SIG Juliet 4X magnifier. Under magnification, you can really see how sharp and clear the reticle appears, even though the front glass does have a little bit of a blue-green tint to it, as mentioned earlier. Looking at the reticle subtensions, the 8T uses the same reticle as the earlier reviewed Romeo 4H. So if you zero for 200 yards with something like this 10.3 Criterion, shooting 55 grain going 25, 53, we have these holes going out to 482 yards, which is plenty for 4X magnifier. 200. Hit. Hit. 300. Hit. Hit. 500. Hit. Hit. Well, you can see the results speak for themselves. Now we've taken a look at the internals. Let's back out and talk externals. So the first thing you're going to notice on the outside is this new titanium shell, the T in its model number. That shell is the primary reason why this site comes in at 13.8 ounces, which is pretty heavy. So this is one of, if not the largest and heaviest duty grade red dot site out there. Speaking of large, let's talk about that huge bolt mount next to the battery cap. To tighten it, you can use a crescent wrench, a large coin, or better yet, the large wrench which they included in the box. You can use the reverse side for turning the small half MOA windage and elevation adjustments. The adjustment knobs click positively and are recessed so they won't move once they're set. By the way, while we're talking mounts and in contrast, Juliet 4X magnifier does have a QD mount, so you can easily remove it when you don't need to go mid-range. Or you can just leave it mounted and flip it out of the way as the flip mechanism is fast and intuitive and can be done one-handed. Weight wise, it comes in at 12.5 ounces. So when you combine them with the AT, you're looking at 26.5 ounces total. However, if you want to save some weight, you can also pair the SIG AT with a 3X magnifier like this Holosun HM3X. You can see that the field of view is a little wider at 37 feet, 100 yards. It's also a little cheaper, so you have to decide if the lesser magnification and the one ounce weight difference is worth it. Lastly, let's talk about the buttons on the AT. They feel good and responsive to the touch, whether you're adjusting for brightness or turning the side on and off. They're about the same size as the EOTech push button, so if you're used to those, it'll be a seamless transition. Also, they're located on the side, so if you're running the Juliet magnifier behind it, you won't have any problems reaching it. Probably the only downside is they're located pretty close to the protruding titanium shell. So if you try to get underneath there with some gloves, it's going to get a little cramped. If you're interested in any of the gear featured in this video, the links can be found below in the description. These links help support the channel as well. Thanks, and here are the final thoughts on our featured product. So, in summary, you can really notice that Sig Sauer's evolution in red dots, starting with the 4H and 5, and now ending up with this titanium beast. Sig is really betting that uh, you're going to consider their red dots to be in the same level as the Aimpoint, EOTech, or Trigicon, so only time will tell if that bet will pay off. 
But what you can say about the AT, it certainly provides more features than its competitors. It sports a clearer reticle than most holographic sites. And when you pair it with a magnifier, it gives you the ability to effectively reach out to the limits of carbon range. Offering all this for around 600 bucks, I think the AT will be a very strong contender made in the good old US of A. Thank you.